Hi, my name is Ed Zaworski with the Iowa State University Plant and Insect Diagnostic Clinic, and this video today is going to be about pine wilt. Pine wilt is a common disease in Iowa, especially on non-native pines such as Scots and Austrian pine. We rarely see this disease on native pines such as white pine. The symptoms of pine wilt include browning and rapid decline, which usually occurs within two weeks to two months. As you can see on the Scots pine behind me, decline has set in here and the tree has turned completely brown. There are several organisms involved in disease pine wilt, but the most important one is the pine wood nematode, Bercephalanchus xylophilus. Pine wilt begins when the pine sawyer beetle transports the nematode or nematode eggs from a dead or dying tree to a healthy tree. Once the nematode has colonized the healthy tree, it begins to multiply in the tree's vascular system until the tree begins to decline. After the tree has begun to decline, it's infiltrated by bark beetles, which transmit a blue stain fungus. This blue stain fungus is a source of nutrients for the nematode once the tree has declined. It's important to note that this blue stain fungus is an indicator of pine wilt, but not a diagnostic characteristic. Unfortunately, once a tree is infected with pine wilt, it cannot be cured. The main goal for managing pine wilt is to remove infected tissue in order to prevent spread to healthy trees in the same area. It's important to confirm pine wilt in order to protect healthy trees surrounding an infected tree. When submitting a sample, it's important to submit a sample of a dead tree as well as trees that are showing symptoms in order to make decisions on what trees you need to remove. I recommend submitting branch samples that are at least two inches in diameter, two to three feet long, and near the base of the tree. As I mentioned earlier in the video, if the blue stain fungus is present in the vascular tissue, this is a good indicator that you may have pine wilt. If you have any further questions about pine wilt or any other plant disease, feel free to visit our website. 